In this video, we're doing a high protein burger recipe, a low carb recipe for weight loss, but we're not doing any kind of burger though. We're gonna be doing a smash burger. Hey everyone, Tim Burmaster here. So today we're gonna be doing another PE diet example meal, but we are going to be making a protein style burger that's gonna be really good, like really good. So I'm gonna break down all the ingredients, show you how to prep this awesome high protein, low carb burger, and we'll also go over the macronutrients and PE ratio for our smash burger as well. And if you don't know what a PE ratio or what the PE diet is, stick around to the end of the video and I will let you know. All right, let's jump right into this. We'll start breaking everything down and get to cooking. So for our protein style beef smash burger, we're gonna have six ounces of 90-10 grass-fed ground beef. We're gonna have about a half a cup of iceberg lettuce, about half an ounce of grass-fed cheese, quarter cup of red onion, a half a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, one slice of tomato, one tablespoon of avocado oil mayo, and lastly, one teaspoon of organic ketchup. Now in terms of the utensils that we are going to be needing, we're gonna need a griddle and something to smash the burgers with, like a very large spatula. And if you don't have either of these tools, I'll leave a couple of Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. All right, well, let's start whipping up our smash burger. First, let's turn the back flame on our griddle to low to medium heat and the front flame on medium to high heat and then we can toss about a half a tablespoon of butter onto the back of the griddle. As the butter is heating up, we can chop our onion and then toss that onto the griddle as well and start mixing it in with the butter. Now the onion should only take about 10 minutes to cook and as the onions are cooking on the slow side, we can start to mix about one tablespoon of mayo with one teaspoon of ketchup so we can have it ready to spread when we start putting our burger together. And another couple of things we can do is slice up our tomato and cheese as well. Now onto the meat. Okay, we're gonna take two three ounce pieces of ground beef and roll our meat up into a couple of balls and we can crack some salt and pepper on them and then roll our ground beef balls around to cover them evenly. Now we can place our two burger balls on the griddle and we can start to smash them so they can be nice and flat. So to do this though, it's best to use a large spatula with a pretty stiff handle, but if you don't have something that's quite sturdy enough, you can use another cooking utensil to help press down on the spatula. Now, once we've smashed our burgers, we can add a little bit more salt and pepper if you want and let them cook for about two minutes. After those two minutes are up, we can flip our spatula over and start scraping our burgers so we can then flip them. Now that our burgers are flipped, let's add our cheese and let it start to melt. So after our two minutes are up, let's put our onions right on top of the melted cheese and stack our two patties on top of each other. And then we can start putting our smash burger together. First, let's take our lettuce and we'll fold it in half and place our double patties right on top. Next, we can add our mayo and ketchup combo to the top of our beef. And then after that, we can put our slice of tomato right on top of the burger patties and then add the rest of our lettuce, place that on top of the burger to finish everything off. Okay, really quickly though, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It tells YouTube that we got a good thing going, you and me, and that other people should be watching it too. Anyway, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Now, let's take a look at our PE ratio for our protein style burger. All right, so what are we looking at when it comes to our smash burger macro details and our PE ratio? Well. In total, our protein was at 40 grams, our fat was at 32 grams, our carbs were at five grams, and we had zero grams of fiber. Now, 
This means that our P-E ratio for this incredible, delicious smash burger was 1.08, even with all the fixings. I'd say that's pretty good. But hey, that's some pretty lean ground beef. What if we actually use 85-15 ground beef instead of that 90-10? Do you think that would actually make that big of a difference? Well, if we did that and we made that switch, when looking at our grams of protein, we would have 36 grams. Our grams of fat would actually be 49. Our carbs would still be at five and our fiber would be at zero again. And that would make our PE ratio right around 0.66, which is not that great. However, if we traded the mayo and ketchup for some mustard, well, that would make our PE ratio about 0.97, which is really pretty good. So if that's something that you'd like to try, if you prefer the juicier meat, then by all means, go for it. Now for myself, since my ideal weight is between 185 and 190 pounds, I would probably eat a couple of these bad boys for lunch or for dinner because I'm currently intermittent fasting, having two meals a day, and two of these burgers would be about 80 grams of protein, which is really great. But hypothetically, if I was someone else who wanted to weigh 130 pounds, I'd probably just stick to having one of these. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with my ideal body weight, the macros, and the PE ratio, watch this video right here where you can learn a ton about the PE diet and all of its benefits when it comes to losing weight and getting lean. And if you're already familiar with the PE diet, you should know that you can 100% put this 90-10 smash burger recipe in your arsenal of PE diet friendly high protein, low carb food weapons so you can lose weight and feel absolutely incredible while doing it. All right, well, if you liked the video and you wanna know the easiest way to calculate your PE macros, watch this video right here. Well, that's it for me. Take care and I hope you enjoy smashing your burger balls while making those delicious protein style, low carb smash burgers.